Afternoon people, it's uh, Phil here from Telf Telford Koi Pond. Um, another quick video, still doing jobs around the garden, around the pond, so I thought I'd share with you what I'm going to do uh, for this afternoon, keep me busy and keep me out of trouble. Those of you that have followed my uh, journey, you'll know that I designed the uh, pond to have one of these in pond skimmers. Um, so I had it on to start with, and because I was, uh, it was all new and I was playing and things were happening. Um, I took it out and just for ease of, uh, or just for ease really, I went out and bought one of the um, Awazi swim skin 50s, which is on the floor down there for those of you that don't know what they look like. So that is a plug and play skimmer. Just drop it in the pond, plugs in, it's got, it's got a self-contained pump um, and it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There's no problem with it whatsoever. But I was watching um, Martin on Devon Coy uh, last night in his latest video he did a bit of a session a section on his um, on his on his very similar um, in pond skimmer talking about how they uh, lose their buoyancy over time and he puts balls in and all sorts of things and I was just just got me thinking afterwards I've got this sitting in the shed um, and I want to use it the pond was designed for this so I want to use it so I'm going to have another go at putting this back in and, uh, and get it back working now I've got two ponds sorry two pumps working pulling a lot more through than it was before um, and as well as that, the uh, I was advised when I first got the Alazi running not to overdo the air in the filters. So I'd already bought this um, Alazi Aqua Oxy 4800 air pump, and I stress I bought it. And I, I know people keep making comments about oh, how often I um, mention Alazi. Am I sponsored by them? No, I'm not sponsored by them. I bought this with my hard-earned pennies. Um, but I haven't had it going yet because I bought a, a smaller pump to to um, to do it while it was all maturing. But now the filter now the filter's maturing. I want to put that one in. Um, and another reason is so since I put my uh, since I put two pumps in, obviously I, I couldn't help but turn them up a bit. Uh, so they're running faster than the single pump was before. And one of the things that's done is actually drop the water level in the drum. Um, and what I've noticed is because I've got 80 litres of Helix 13, whereas before it was all flying round nicely like the, like the bit in the middle is here, there's not enough air to move all these bits from the side. So they're not, they're not actually stuck, there's, there's nothing there, it's just the, you know, because they're lowering the water, because they're denser, there's, there's 80 litres in there instead of 60, there's just not, not enough air to push them through. So I'm going to swap over, I've got a um, little Jabo, 30 litres per minute, it might be 40 litres, I can't remember what it is now, 40 litres per minute, but anyway, it's, it's nowhere near as powerful as the Oazi one. So I'm going, to knock, I'm going to swap that over, and then I'll show you the difference on there, on there and then I'll get the in-pond skimmer in, and uh, I'll talk you through what I've done and how I've done it, so I'll catch up with you in a minute. So we're back, um, again just been playing around with the air pumps and things, so as I said one of the jobs I wanted to do was put the big Oazi air pump on, so as you can see there it is, and it is, um, it is a bit of a beast compared to, <laughs> compared to the other air pump I had on, and also the, uh, the 30 litre per minute one next to it. Um, the good thing is the air pumps obviously all the fittings are the same so I haven't even had to take the pipe up. Oh. Filters decided to do a clean so uh, in a minute. There we go. So as you can see, the water's at 18 degrees. So the idea of this was because I've been playing around with the pumps, putting two pumps in, because it's drawing more water through now. The difference between the the height in the filter and the pump chamber and the pond is quite significant. So that's the height of the pond. And that's the height in here so you know it's 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 sucking quite a bit through if i were to turn the pumps off this would just fill up to that level so what it was doing because it's that much lower uh, because i've got 80 liters of media in the um in the moving bed the air wasn't enough and um, because i've been told to keep it quite low for the for media to mature so just take the top off and you can see uh see what difference this uh this different air pump has made There you go, it's like a geezer. 
So if you remember before, all the corners were just, this bit in the middle was moving quite nicely, um, but the corners just were, were like mounting up and everything was sticking in the corners. But clearly now this is, uh, this is much, much better. So I'm really pleased with that. As I say, I bought it, I bought the air pump and I bought the filter, knowing that that was the right, yeah, I wanted it to, to be the right one. Um, clearly it's, uh, it's well matched. So that's that's everything there. I can uh, I would think of to tinker with at the minute in the filter out. So I'm pleased I've got the other pump in. I'm pleased I've got two separate lines and I'm pleased they're all working. And as you can imagine, I've been around it again and again just to check all the joints. So the other job I wanted to do today was um, the impod skimmer. So again, I mentioned before having, having watched Martin's uh, latest video and him talking about easy impon skimmer. Um, while I'm really happy with the ORZ swim skin brilliant thing it's not what I designed to have in the pond so it's sort of um, you know it's, it feels a bit of a backward step to me so sorted it so come and have a look I'll show you what I've done so there's the uh, the swim skin as I say it's uh, a great bit of kit I'm certainly not going to uh, not going to get rid of it because it will be useful but what we now have working is the impond skimmer that uh, I designed it for in the first place. So the great thing about that is I've got um, a length of pipe about four inches, four or five inches sticking out the wall. It's not solvent welded in or anything. It just literally pushes into the uh, the inlet. Um, the skimmer, the rubber boot on the skimmer and the 90 degrees all connected together. But the 90 degree at the bottom, again, it just pushes straight onto the uh, the tube I've got sticking out so none of that is is permanent sort of thing if I want I can just take it pull it off and take it out and I've just got a little blanking cap rubber blanking cap put on the on the hole and it's fish safe again so I'm really pleased with that when I did it the first time uh, there just clearly wasn't enough drawer on the pump because yes I know the proper way of doing it is to have a dedicated skimmer so, uh, sorry a dedicated pump but I want everything to go through the uh, filter if I can because the idea obviously is clean water coming out the other end so I wanted I want this as well to sort of contribute to the bottom drain so I've just done a few sort of uh, tests and bits and pieces with the valve so I can still control it in there with the valve um, but it's great as I say it's, it's, I'm really pleased with it it's really working well and I'm so I'm so pleased I've got it back in so it's all good stuff and now I'm gonna hide it and you see it again The, uh, the temporary covers on as you can see still can't get decent timber for love and money um, I won't say I've given up but um, I've got some two I've got two lengths of two inch by two inch nice uh, plain timber outside sort of treated timber which I want to do all the covers with I just can't get any more so I think what I'm gonna end up doing this time I've started looking at polycarbonate obviously for, for doing proper covers um, and I'm sort of thinking this time, to be honest, I'm just going to bubble wrap these. A couple of them I have with bubble wrap, um, and that will be my winter cover for this year. I may put polycarb. I think I'm still going to get the polycarb, and I may put it on top. But obviously, I don't want to start cutting down sheets until I've got my uh, permanent things. So that's where we are. So just uh, see if the fish will come up. I've been messing around the pond all day. I haven't taken the covers off though, but obviously they've been. Uh, been disturbed quite a lot with pumps on, pumps off. Let's see if we can get uh, big and small up at least. He's sort of interested. Yes, it's food. The others are coming. Can't make mines up. So pumps have been off, plugs have been off, on, air pump off, air pump on. It will come up and clear it up in a minute. I'm really pleased with the, uh, you know, the way they're still growing and everything. They're, uh, they're great. So yeah, good stuff. So that's where I am for today. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to uh, go in and uh, have a cup of tea, get something to eat. Um, again, I'll end this video just now words of wisdom 
just make sure you do your research, make sure you do your homework first. And if anything goes wrong, uh, like my good lady wife keeps telling me, don't panic, it'll all get sorted out. So take care, enjoy your pond, and I'll uh, see you next time. Cheers.